Hi guys, I'm Ashley and today I'm going to be talking about some of the fantasy series that I want to start in 2020. Ideally I would read these series in their entirety because I have tried to choose series that are fully complete. I do have quite a few series on the go that are still ongoing and so I can't really do anything about those ones but in this video I'm listing off six different series that I do want to start and hopefully finish in 2020. I have only listed six because just by adding one series to the list I'm adding another at least three books onto my overall 2020 TBR and I do also also have a follow-up video to this about the series I want to continue so my 2020 TBR could get out of control very quickly. But it can't be denied that I have been eyeing up these books and so I just wanted to make a video about them and hopefully hold myself accountable in some way. It's not gonna happen is it? So as I said I have tried choosing series that are fully complete in their entirety. However the first one I'm not too sure about whether it's going to be complete in 2020 or not so hopefully you guys can let me know. But the first series that I'd like to start is The Books of Babel by Josiah Bancroft. The first book is Send Linus Ends and I came across this via Samantha Shannon actually, she really recommends this book. And so far there are three books published, I believe there is a fourth one coming out and I think that's the last one, I'm not too sure. So like I said, if you do know then let me know in the comments below. But this one follows a mild-mannered man called Thomas Senlin who loses his wife. Just as they're embarking on their honeymoon she is kidnapped. And in order to get her back he has to ascend the Tower of Babel where every single level is almost like a different world. Each one presenting new tyrants, new challenges, challenges, new things that he has to come across. I just really really love the idea of this tower with different worlds on every level. I want to know how that works. It sounds like a really unique concept and I think it's one that I'm going to really enjoy. It's quite a short one, at least the first one is. And every single time I mention this book I tend to have people telling me how great it is so I want to find out for myself. The next series is not yet complete when this video is filmed but it will be complete in 2020 I believe. And this one is The Diviners by Libba Bray. This is one that I definitely want to keep up with when I start reading it because all of the books are quite huge. And this is set in 1920s New York. It follows a girl called Evie who is sent to live with her uncle who's quite eccentric and has a weird obsession with the occult. Now Evie is more than thrilled to be going to live with her uncle but the only thing is that she has supernatural abilities and with her uncle's obsession with the occult it's probably not going to be long until he finds this out. But then one day her uncle gets pulled in to help with the investigation of a murdered girl and Evie realises she could use her powers to help with this case. Along the way she she meets a lot of eccentric people and I have been so intrigued about this book for so long but I feel like it's had such a revival since 2019 probably because the fourth book is coming out in 2020. Everybody has been loving this series lately and I want to know why. <laughs> the next series I want to read but I don't yet own in its entirety is the Earthsea series by Ursula Le Guin. This is a bind up of the first four books then there's also the fifth book which is a compilation of short stories I think and there is also a sixth book as well. I honestly don't know too much about this besides it being a classic fantasy series and one that people always recommend and it follows a boy who becomes a wizard I believe. He attends a school of wizardry and eventually through his life becomes the Archmage Sparrowhawk. As time goes on he witnesses the ancient ways of magic succumb to evil and there's a very ominous line about whether he will also succumb to evil or whether he can fight against it. It sounds like quite a I don't want to say typical fantasy story because that sounds like a bad thing but it just sounds like a story that you know is a classical fantasy series. It has so many of the tropes and I feel like this might be one that I read and find really comforting even though I've never visited the series before purely because I do recognise so much of the fantasy elements in it. I also might be hosting a read along for this later in the year but I'm not entirely sure yet so stay tuned for any news on that but Either way, whether I host a read long or not, I definitely do want to get to the series this year and we'll see how it goes. One of my main priorities for 2020 is the Broken Earth trilogy. So many people have been telling me to read the series for the longest time and I think now is the time. <laughs> so this is a series that I always just read the blurb of the first book from because it doesn't really give too much plot or characters, it doesn't really tell you anything, it just sets up a general atmosphere. So I'm just going to read off the back again. <laughs> This is the way the world ends for the last time. It starts with the Great Red Rift, across the heart of the world's sole continent, spewing ash that blots out the sun. It starts with death, with a murdered son and a missing daughter. It starts with betrayal, and long dormant wounds rise it up to fester. This is the stillness, a land long familiar with catastrophe, where the power of the earth is wielded as a weapon, and where there is no mercy. It sounds very intense and as I've said before I feel like this is going to have quite a dark atmosphere surrounding the entire world and I feel like the fact that I don't know too much about what the actual plot is is probably one of the most intriguing things about this series because what 
what is it? What's happening? Why does everybody love it? I need to find out. <laughs> Sticking with classical fantasy series, one that I also really want to get to this year is the Lord of the Rings series. I know that this was originally meant to be published as one book but as you can see my series is a trilogy and the most common format for this book is a trilogy so I am counting it as a series. This is just one of those cases where I know the general storyline but I need to actually read the books because I'm a fantasy fan. I feel like series like this just have to be read at some point in my life. So is 2020 the year? I hope so. So this is a fantasy adventure series following Frodo Baggins who is sent on the epic task to return the ruling ring of power to the pits of Mordor. While that is just a very general synopsis this does follow a whole cast of characters. There's a whole host of adventures along the way and as you can imagine so so many people love this series. It's one that pretty much everybody has heard of and I just want to read the actual books to find out what goes on. I want to see the extent of this story in its original form. I am currently rereading The Hobbit which acts as a prelude to this series in preparation for continuing with it but I'm very excited to get to these ones and hopefully I'll be able to continue it one book per month but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> And then the final series that I'm going to talk about in this video is the Blackthorn and Grimm trilogy by Juliette Morillier. I discovered Juliette Morillier in 2019 thanks to Jean from Jean Bookish Thoughts and while it is one of her other series that I started, so spoiler alert for my series I want to continue video, I am also really interested in this series and I think I will be switching between the two. There's just something about this series that is really pulling at me at the minute and I really want to get to it. As I said it is a trilogy, I do have the third book on the way as I film this, it might be here by the time this video goes up, I'm not sure. But the first book in this series, Dreamer's Pool, follows an embittered healer called Blackthorn, who in order to escape death promises to forgo vengeance against the man who ruined her life and instead assist anybody who asks for her help. She sets out on a journey accompanied by a silent hulk of a man who is apparently a former prison mate. <laughs> These two characters, Blackthorn and Grimm, set out to Dal Raider. Over in Dal Raider, the ruling prince, Aran, is in need of such help. He believed that his future bride was destined to be his love but, but when they actually meet in person he has a feeling that the person he's met isn't quite up to the sweet messages they've been sending to each other all this time. Aran wants Blackthorn and Grimm to save him from his disastrous marriage and they will be needing a little bit of magic to help them do so. I don't know why I'm so intrigued about this series, it's just really really pulling at me at the minute and I'm trying to resist somewhat because I do have to go back into uni reading and I also want to continue with the Seven Water series as well but something about this one is just really catching my eye at the minute and I don't think it's going to be too long until I start this series too. I think I'm really really going to love this one because I love Juliet Murillo's writing and I'd love to see how that translates across stories and Juliet Murillo has such a huge load of books and series that I just really want to make my way through over the years and it will take me years because there's a lot of them so um let's hope that this is at least one series I can tick off in 2020. So these are the book series I'm wanting to start, finish, read in 2020. This is what I meant when I say that my TBR can very quickly get out of control if I just kept adding series that I want to read because there's so many and each of them accumulates to quite a tall stack. <laughs> Let me know if you've read any of these series and what your thoughts on them were if you have. I have a vague idea about where I'm going to start and how I'm going to approach these series but you might be able to sway me some way with your opinions on them so head down to the comments and chat to me about them and also let me know what your main priority series of 2020 is. I think mine would be the Broken Earth series by N.K. Jemison. But for now I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did then remember to leave a like and a comment to let me know that you're here. If you're not subscribed already then please consider doing that. Down in the description box you'll find links to all of the books I've just mentioned or at least the first book in the series, all of my social media and other bookish stuff as well so be sure to check that out if you haven't already but for now I hope you have a lovely day and I shall see you next time with a new video. Bye!